those cute little slimes in the pen. Oh my gosh, they look like little plants. It's like having some sort of cabbages bounce around. Oh, and their little faces, they make her so cute. Oh my gosh, and look at all of the adorable little produce and all of the trees and plants. And that is a heckin' field of wheat that would probably make adorable amounts of food. But hello everyone, and welcome, welcome to Guitaria Fables, which has just come out. And they were kind enough to reach out and suggest that perhaps this would be a wonderful new adventure for all of us in the pixel biology community to dive into. And so here we are! I know very little about the game because I tried not to spoil myself too much, but I do know that there's going to be a little bit of crafting, a little bit of farming, and a lot of fighting as we do our best to take care of an adorable world filled with all sorts of very cute little characters. I mean, look at that. There's little tiny mice over by the field and there's butterflies and I am so intrigued. So let's go ahead and dive on in to a brand new game. All right, let's see how this works out. Are we going to have a dramatic backstory? Sometimes you get a dramatic backstory and sometimes your grandpa just died and you got to inherit the family farm. And in this case, maybe the family sword. Okay, that looks like dramatic backstory. Legends speak uh. of a time that Canoidera faced the calamity. Canoidera, huh? Oh, but those are big trees! Once docile monsters were driven into a violent rage by a mysterious power. Somebody polluted our tree friends, okay. Oh cute, are we gonna be a bunny? To protect the people. We gotta get to the root of the issue, though. No pun intended, because that was, you know, like a tree monster. <laughs> After an arduous battle, the monsters were defeated, and the mysterious power subsided. Okay, okay. Is that a chinchilla friend? To their normal lives, and peace was restored. Aww. Everybody's just having a good time in the village. Uh-oh. So we thought. Okay, dramatic backstory, check. There have been whispers of the calamity returning once more, with no heroes remaining to fight against it. They just waited them out. I guess trees have a really long life. The cause of this mysterious power. Yes, yes. Will Canoidera ever be truly at peace? Well, you can't just turn your back on something you know you've been, that's been an issue in the past, so... I guess we're gonna be the new hero. Alright, here we go. Oh, cute! <gasps> is that an adorable little slime? Can I keep it as a pet? Please, look how cute it is! West Pothfield. What? It talks? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to assume that you were like a sub creature class that I could just keep as a cute pet. I'm very sorry about that. Macaroon. We've been searching for hours and still can't find the village. I'm so tired. Are you sure that Commander Blue gave us the right directions? All our fighters? Or maybe scouts? I'm starting to doubt it. <gasps> and I'm a kitty cat! What did we do wrong that he would send us so far from the capital, huh? Gosh. All right, we've been banished to the wilds, and look at how cute I am! Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm adorable! All right, all right, all right. Are we following our friend? Oh, look at how cute this world is! Oh, there she is! According to the map, the village should be close, right? By the way, wandering around unfamiliar places is quite dangerous, don't you think? With the rise of the monsters, I guess? We should be prepared for anything, you know, in case the monsters decide to ambush us. Of course, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Macaroon, what are you? You're so cute. You're like some sort of adorable little fruit that's come to life. I just want to squish your little cheeks. You should equip your weapon before we move on. Okie dokie. Oh, beginner sword. All right. Oh, and I also have some milk. <gasps> Does that mean I can go ahead and like have little cows and things? Nutrient rich fresh milk, usually obtained from animals. Usually. Okay, mildly concerned about that in a world full of animal people, but like, wait, wait, what, what, what differentiates us from the animals? I need to not think about that too much. Let's go ahead and equip the sword. Uh, oh, I see. And then you go ahead and you, you yoink it right into that little spot. So we're also going to be able to get, oh, you guys, sword off. 
sword on! Oh, that's cool! So your sword actually does like show up on your person whilst you're wearing your different armor. A simple sword, perfect for beginners. All right, all right, and it adds a lot of attack power. I like that. You can do pinned items as well. I have the most adorable little rucksack. Quest attributes. Oh, I'm really fast. Oh, cool. Okay, so we do have some stats. And we do, oh, what? Fire, water, wind, and earth damage? Ooh, that sounds like we might be able to become a mage. I totally, I think I would want to do fire and earth if we're fighting a bunch of like possessed trees, but I'm just gonna keep that in mind. There's also defensive abilities, okay. We have skills, rapid thrust is our current skill that we've actually got, so that must be what the commander was training us in. All right, all right, well, I feel prepared. Magaroon, let's go! Macaroon, I equipped the sword. Can we go now? All good? All set? Good. Let's get moving. What are you? You're so cute. I love diving into new worlds and trying to understand their creatures and biology and, and who knows? Oh, mushrooms! Huh? What's going on? Oh! It's a kid! Who's just named Kid and she's really cute and she's being attacked by little slimes. Some gooeys are surrounding somebody. Macaroon, are you related to gooeys? They aren't usually so aggressive towards people. Gosh, that poor kid. What do we do? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Have you forgotten what Commander Blue always told us about helping people in need? Gosh. Okay, that was really fun. We might kind of play it up as like the hero who got sent away from the capital because we're also kind of a lazy jerk. Here we go. Hey, you over there. Oh, that's so cute seeing Macaroon be the one dive in to help first. But how is she gonna fight him? Maybe magic? Whoa! Didn't your parents ever tell you to be kind to others, especially elderly and kids? If you want someone to spar with, find someone who can fight back. Like us, right here! Uh, what? Shh! It will draw their attention away from the kid! Okay, I am so going to actually play this up as like, the, the person who's like, I don't know about this, you know? Like, the commander's probably just like trying to send us away so that we don't get in the way of the real fighters, but this might be a fun way of redemption arc. Oh, look at her, she's so cute. She's ready to fight. She's ready to scrap. Here they come, get ready. Are you gonna, Megaroon, why aren't you fighting? Where are you going? Oh, you're protecting the kid? Okay. Well, I guess I need to fight now. Oh, wait, oh no, oh no. All right, got one gooey. Ooh, what did it drop? You, mucus! That didn't work out the way I was hoping. Uh-oh, I should have dodged that, but I was having fun, like, being iffy about the whole mucus thing. All right, that wasn't gross. Now I'm covered in slime. No wonder, like, we didn't want to participate in fighting, like the commander said. Phew, no sweat. Hey, kid, are you okay? Aw, she's such a cute little bunny! That was awesome! I've never seen anyone fight like that. Yeah, I would say that was an original. Just get like drenched in slime after running around in a circle. Totally original. That's because we've been training for years. Pretty cool though, right? Anyway, we should probably escort you home. It's getting late, right, Nyan? Oh, my name's Nyan? I'm Nyan Cat. Thank you, kind travelers. I live not far from here. Come on, I'll show you the way. I wonder if that's just like the traditional greeting of people in a lot of these worlds, like kind travelers. Oh, it's a bear! What a charming little village. Have we been yeeted out here so that we'll like get out of the commander's way? Oh, this is really cute. I wonder if, oh, look at that. It's Paw Village. <laughs> I wonder if we're here to like guard everybody and we won't do as much farming as I'm thinking. We'll have to wait and see. I'm creepy. <gasps> no way! Is this like a goat who's adopted a bunch of orphans and he's named them Kid because that's just really hilarious? No! <laughs> oh my gosh, he's actually a goat calling a little kid that he takes care of Kid. Why is that so funny to me? It's like a double layered pun. Oh my precious Kid, thank goodness. I was worried you might get in trouble. She really was in trouble, I might add. Macaroon, you're a snitch. I told you not to play too far from the village, Erin. Tis dangerous out there. I'm sorry, Grampy. It was, there was a pretty dragonfly near the river I wanted to catch. Then I ended up bumping into some angry monsters. 
I was so afraid, Grampy. I'm glad these two were here to help me. I like how I'm probably like in the background trying to like shove the rest of the slime off of me for first impressions. Thank you, brave travelers. You should be more mindful of your surroundings next time. Thank you for helping my granddaughter. I hope she doesn't cause you any more trouble. Bah, where are my manners? <laughs> bah. Welcome to Paw Village. I am Oliver, the village chief. May I ask who you are? Oh, Paw Village, great. We've been looking for this place for hours. I'm Macaroon, and this is Nyanza Von Whiskers. <laughs> what a cool name, Nyanza Von Whiskers. Our commander sent us here after receiving word that nearby monsters were causing a disturbance. Ah, soldiers from the capital city. Thank goodness you are finally here. That's right. We've been having some problems with monsters outside the village. Meh. They seem more aggressive lately, and it's causing us nothing but trouble when gathering resources from nearby areas. Nobody here can fight, so we need to seek help from the capital city. Don't worry, chief. From now on, we'll take care of those problems so you can live in peace. Thank you very much. I feel much safer knowing you're here now. Tis getting late. Please feel free to spend the night at our house if you'd like. Oh, that's okay, Chief. Actually, we already have a place to stay. Do you know the way to old Uncle Payne's old place? Are you one of Payne's relatives? Oh yes, Nyanza is his grandchild. It, it's a pity we couldn't visit him when he was still around. I, I both have the dramatic backstory and inherited Grandpa's farm. <laughs> I hope he wouldn't mind us staying in his old house for a while. Bah, don't worry, brave soldiers. Pain Thunderbun was one of the kindest men I ever knew. I know he would li gladly let you stay. You are a relative after all. Please follow me. I will show you the way to his old house. Oh yeah, that's kind of cute. Kind of sad. Thunder bun, though. Was I adopted? Because that sounds like a bunny. Thunder bun farm. It might look shabby from the outside, but tis quite spacious and comfortable within. I hope you enjoy your stay here. As long as there are comfy beds, it'll be perfect. Thanks for bringing us here, Chief. You must be tired from your journey. I won't keep you any longer. Please rest. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. Night! Let's go home, Erin. Good night, Macaroon. Good night, Nyanza. She's so cute. We're finally here. Let's go inside and get some rest. My feet hurt. Gosh. What? What? We have our own little life farm. Look at this. What do I do with these things? Oh my gosh, look at all this. It's all like destroyed. What? Oh, this is so cute. I love these lanterns. Heck. Okay, I'm probably gonna need like new things to equip so that I can go ahead and actually do some fighting. My sword is not effective. Oh, look at all the fireflies. Wait, did something just happen to me? Do they heal me? Did I gain like a little heart back? Hi, pretty things. Oh, my little ears are cute. All right, well, let's go inside. I really wanna like spend more time exploring the area i do have some things to sell though like I, this mucus okay so i can actually grab the goo and can i just like move all of it okay i can into the selling box oh look at that and we could go ahead and just sell it and immediately get some cash which would be really useful okay so there's that Oh, my house is so cute. So this must be Gramps' place. Also, where did Macaroon go? Did she just like slink under the bed? Is that where she sleeps? Like under the bed? All right, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna save because we're at home. Like, wow, I wonder if Gramps was just like really famous so nobody wanted to like take his house apart. Okay, we can change our appearance. Wait, can we change our appearance? Oh, <gasps> we can change our appearance. Oh my gosh, I could be a little calico cat. Oh, we're a little Nor cat. We're a gray and white cat. Oh, they're all very cute. Oh my gosh, tabby cat. I do love tabby cats a lot. I wish there was a cat who was a little bit more like dark brown because my hair is very, very brown. Um, but I kind of love the calico. I'm gonna go with the calico. 
Because the calico kind of looks the closest to what I think would be a bunny. And in that case, we don't have anything else we can change into. Uh, and maybe I'm adopted by like Thunderbun. Oh, and look at my tail, it changed colors. All right, I like that. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. Nobody in these games ever uses the blankets except for in Stardew Valley, I think. Ha, ah, paw pennies. Okay, so now we're up, we're out, we're about. I look different. I like it. Maybe I have like a potion that can just change the color of my fur, because why not? Thunderbun Farm. Okay. Okay. It's beautiful. I would like to open it, but it's locked. Oh, look! Practice dummies! Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, look, and they heal up and, like, restore themselves after a minute. So that's pretty useful just, like, for figuring out what you want to use. Where's Macaroon? Look at my little dodge. That's so cute. <sighs> What's wrong, Tim? Did something happen? Monsters! Chased! It's a chinchilla! So cute! Good morning, everyone! Macaroon, why did you hide? Eh, did something happen? You don't look good. Ah, young soldiers. Good morning. I hope you are well rested. Our provisioner here seems quite troubled with something. Take a deep breath, Tim, then tell us what happened. I... I was on my way back from picking up some goods for the shop. When I reached Bri River, By River Field, I was surprised by a group of orcs, as if they were waiting for me. I was so scared, Chief, I dashed away as quickly as I could before they could get me. But I left my bag behind. It has the uh, it has the things you, Miss Apple, and Sage Albie requested. What am I supposed to do? Tis okay, Tim. At least you're not hurt. That is the most important thing right now. Young soldiers, I am sorry for this sudden request. Would you be willing to help Tim locate his things? As I mentioned, none of us here can fight, so you are our only hope. Soldiers? You can fight? Or maybe we're just cannon fodder because, like, maybe as a good village chief, he's like, we should have the other people do this because I don't want to see the people I've raised and grown up with die. Hmm, but I'll do my best. Please, friends, please help me get my bag back. All right, chief, we'll help Timmy out. Besides, it's a tad strange that orcs de decided to venture outside their territory. I sure hope it isn't the calamity. We need to determine the cause and report to our commander. Very well. Please always be on your guard. I have heard nasty things about these bleating orcs. Bleating! <laughs> I can't believe that's what he uses to talk. Okay, this is so cute. Tim, do you have any remaining supplies? Yes, I still have some croissants on me. Here, please take these. Eating them will replenish your health. Well, hey, if they're gonna like give me like free food while we're at this. Sorry for the trouble, friends. Please be careful. Thank you. Please wait for our return. Macaroon's like the official little, the guide. All right, all right, we accepted a quest called Drop Belongings, and there's a little one called Caramel here. I'm bored, can we do something fun later? Oh my gosh, they're so cute, you guys. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and we are going to give it a good go to try to fight in the morning. Gosh, now I wonder, do I wanna be a Calico? Or I kinda liked that gray cat, but you know what, being a Calico seems kinda fun. Maybe I have just like a little bit of different personality for each of the little spots. So sometimes I'm lazy, sometimes I'm in this. I just love the idea that the commander was like, just get out of here. Get out of here, kid. All right, what's this? <gasps> I found a couple apples! What? Oh, look, it's another gooey! Yeah, you're not getting me today, silly, silly goo goo. Okay, maybe you got me. I am now beslimed. Oh, this is adorable! Ah, okay, I've really got to start using the dodge part of things. Alright, there's the dodge. Gotta practice. Okay, okay. Works might be a little tricky, but maybe doing a bit of fighting like this. Alright, I need to work on my fighting. And I also, okay, I figured out, there's the croissants. Hey, fight me! Ah, I dodged out of the way! And it made him mad when I did that, that was kind of cute. All right, all right. So I've got some apples, I've got some mucus. Can I get this? I want that mushroom so bad, guys. You have no idea. Oh, that was really cool. Okay, so I'm starting to figure this out. You do want to like dodge out of the way. 
I'm not finding the orcs, which is interesting. I thought I would just like stumble right on top of them. I have a lot of mucus. I guess I'm now like completely covered in, okay, so, oh my good word. This place is much bigger than I thought, you guys. <laughs> what? This place is huge. So we have Thunderbun Farm. I think we need to go down to the south is like what it's telling us for upriver field, maybe for like our quest. So we'll carry on. Oh, and it lets me know when there's monsters nearby. That's what the little glow glow is all about. What are you? What the heck? What is this thing? A Karu? Why are you so cute? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so I am doing a good job dodging out of the way. And I just got a vine from like a wild Karu? What the heck? All right. All right, still figuring this all out. Okay, so they're aggressive is what I think it tells you. Okay, got it, got it, got it. And normally these goos, I guess, aren't very aggressive, so you usually don't have to worry about them. Is kind of the, the name of the game here. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, let's get this Karu. Yeah, dodged it. It's huge. All right, got some vines. Let's attack this Karu before it attacks us. Okay, and red. Got it, got it, got it. All right. And what do we have here? Oh, I got a croissant! So there's just a bunch of adorable croissants like waiting everywhere. And it's a save checkpoint! Oh, that's cute! Can I go into the- Okay, okay. I'm actually really liking this. This is pretty precious. Can I eat a croissant? I have eaten my croissants. Oh dear, they only restore 10 HP. I need to be a little more careful then. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this brand new adventure. It's ridiculously adorable, and I'm really hoping we'll be able to do it. Oh, it's a green gooey. I'm hoping we'll be able to do it justice and figure out, like, how to, like, I guess, take care of Grandpa's farm. But it... <gasps> oh my gosh, a king gooey! All right, we're gonna see if we can get into a little bit of fight. I can't decide if my cat is lazy or if my cat is really adventurous. We're gonna figure that out next time. So all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you could, do please leave a like for the amazing encounter that we're about to have with the King Gooey. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, uh oh, I can't save again, oh no. Do please consider subscribing, but most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time, bye-bye.